Kilowatts and kilowatt hours, what's the difference? It's really common in the solar and energy industry to hear kilowatts and kilowatt hours used interchangeably as if kilowatts were an abbreviation of kilowatt hours. And it's really not the case. And I'm gonna make you an expert on the two in under five minutes. Hey all, it's Zach. We are gonna cover three things in this video. First, the fundamental definitions of what a kilowatt and what a kilowatt hour is. Two, we're gonna do an analogy I've always used to help me better understand, teach, and remember this information. Three, how it actually pertains to solar specifically when it comes to understanding your quotes and your proposals. So let's get started with all the boring stuff. Kilowatts, they are a unit of measurement that represent power, either power that an electrical load consumes, or in our case, the amount of power a solar energy system can output. Additionally, it'll measure the amount of power that a battery can output. Keyword here is power. Kilowatt hours are a unit of measurement that represent energy. Energy is power, but over time. So the variable added here is time, which is the hours portion of kilowatt hours. Now this takes us to our next part of our discussion. We're gonna use a car analogy. The summary of this is miles per hour equal kilowatts and miles driven equal kilowatt hours. Think of kilowatts or wattage like horsepower or top speed. Basically how much power is either being output or drawn at that moment. You can use horsepower or speed, miles per hour, interchangeably as you'd like. I'm gonna stick with speed for this example since we use that way more often in our day to day. Now imagine you're driving your car at a speed of 75 miles per hour. This would be your vehicle's output or power consumed in that moment. Think of this as our kilowatt rating equivalent here. Now, if you drove slower, you'd essentially be decreasing your power. If you drove faster, then you'd be increasing your power. Now miles per hour tell us how fast you're going, but but not how far you've gone. It's just a rate of speed, just like kilowatts is a rate of power. A car that drives 75 miles per hour for 30 seconds is not gonna drive near as far as a car who drove 75 miles per hour, but for five minutes. Now, kilowatt hours, if we remember, is energy, which is power over time. Staying with this car analogy, kilowatt hours is the equivalent to miles driven. How do we figure out how many miles we'll drive over the course of time? We take the power and multiply that by time. So if we know we'll be driving at a fixed speed of 75 miles per hour and we plan on driving for five hours, I will travel for 375 miles. If I decrease my speed or decrease my time, I will also decrease my miles driven. So bringing this back to electricity terms, if I plan on using an appliance that outputs three kilowatts of power for five hours, three times five, that will equal 15 kilowatt hours of energy consumed. Now transitioning into this mindset when it comes to the solar energy system ratings, it's it's very common to see a system size on your proposal rated in kilowatts. You will also see kilowatt hours representing both your home's energy consumption and your solar energy system's projected generation. Reminder, one kilowatt is just a thousand watts and one kilowatt hour is just a thousand watt hours. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's say you received a quote for 20 solar panels and each panel was rated to have a power output or speed of 425 watts each. Now 20 panels times 425 watts gives us 8,500 watts. And 8,500 watts is the equivalent of 8.5 kilowatts. Now an easy trick to change watts into kilowatts is just turn that comma into a decimal. And an easy way to turn kilowatts back into watts is to turn that decimal into a comma. So in this scenario, we have 20 panels, 425 watts each, 8,500 watts total, of available power. Now, the amount of time that these panels are exposed to sunlight as well as the sun intensity will dictate our total amount of kilowatt hours generated. We commonly refer to this as sun hours or solar availability. Your roof direction, panel tilt, shading, and the part of the world you live in all play a role in the amount of sun hours that you will have. But here in Tucson, Arizona, we have great sun hours. We could probably expect an 8.5 kilowatt system to generate about 14,000 kilowatt watt hours per year on average. What it'll do day to day or month by month is gonna vary based on length of day, time of year, and overall weather patterns. So if you saw these numbers on a solar proposal, you would know that your system is rated for 8.5 kilowatts and it can generate 14,000 kilowatt hours a year. I'll wrap it up here. The same analogy and formula can be used for batteries, determining your home's energy consumption, or just even how much energy an individual appliance might use. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.